Good morning, everybody from Washington, D.C. My name is Jessica Bedoya, Chief of Staff and Chief Strategy Officer of the Inter-American Development Bank. I am very grateful to be here today to join the Ring the Bell for Gender Equality, organized by the Jamaica Stock Exchange. Thank you for inviting us. IDB Invest has participated in this global initiative for four years, and I am delighted to see more stock exchanges in the region backing this initiative to help close the gender gap. We know that empowered women can change, not just lives, but the economic trajectory of entire countries, and that is what we want to make a reality. Now, the great challenge of 2022 is how to reintegrate women into the formal labor market who are forced to leave their jobs due to the pandemic. Women were the hardest hit related to job losses and business closures. The return of women to economic activity can lead to the sustainable recovery of Latin America and the Caribbean, and women's integration is the fastest way the region can move from recovery to prosperity. Growth will only be inclusive if the private sector, the main generator of employment in the region, integrates women into its economic activity. But this is not just a challenge, it is an opportunity. In Jamaica, women outperformed men in education. 12% more women had at least secondary level of education, a higher education attainment than men. So let's begin to take real advantage of this impressive human capital. Through IDB Invest, we work with our clients in the private sector to close gender gaps, creating more and better economic opportunities for women in the region. In recent years, we have promoted the issuance of five gender bonds with our clients in Colombia, Panama, and Peru. Also, we support women through financing and supporting employment in non-traditional sectors, in STEM and within the global value chain. However, stock exchanges can play a strategic role in the shift towards gender inclusion. They can engage market participants and integrate gender considerations into mainstream financial practices. For instance, they can help promote gender disclosure and create gender indexes. All of this supports greater gender inclusion. Also, from the IDB, we call for urgent action to promote gender lens investment, especially in the Caribbean. So let's strive to be more bold and more ambitious in the Caribbean in 2022.